Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy, happy, happy Thursday. I've been a little bit behind here today. We got some storms floating through, so I didn't want to start recording just in case the wind hit the power out or anything like that here. Let me throw this in my trash. Boom. All right. So I want to talk about shipping boxes because a lot of people always keep asking me about this. I've now put links to both of these types of boxes down in my description. So before I've been using these to ship out slabs in. Basically, get these on Amazon. I think they're about 50 cents, maybe 50 to 60 cents a box type deal. And I still put the cardboard, you guys know, from uh, what was that place called? Uh, armor or something armor. On, hobby armor onto it and then i put in with some bubble wrap and these fit perfectly into the envelopes and stuff like that really really sturdy i mean it's not going to stop somebody trying to break it and smash it in a conveyor belt but it prevents the cases from getting chipped up and stuff like that so recently i found this one out here smaller box called no city no city design links in the description in case anybody wants to buy these these come out if you buy 50 of them it runs $28 with shipping, so about the same as these, honestly, in price. So I was trying to debate which one I'd like to go with more. Because normally when I'm doing PSA Senate, it, I put it in these boxes and send it off just so it's just a little bit easier, when, especially when you're doing economy orders. These here are pretty easy to put together. Look like this. This is actually a card somebody purchased out of the store. So I know he's gotten a white box. I'm going to see if he, if he catches this video. And maybe he can shoot me an email, let me know which one he thinks is better. So basically, just click it up like that. I'll put some tape here, and I'll wrap some bubble wrap around, stick it in a bubble mailer. These are pretty secure as well, too. I mean, again, it's not going to stop the occasional somebody runs it over the forklift, you know, gets caught in a conveyor belt, snaps. But, you know, as much as mail gets tossed around, it just gives a little bit more protection onto it. And plus, like I said, I'll probably do... I'm going to try one to two sheets of bubble wrap around just to give it a little bit extra padding on to it. But pretty cool. Pretty cool. People, like I said, um, no way my affiliate with them or whoever sells those on Amazon. Just stuff I've been finding and want to try out. This, you could take this. I mean, then you're talking probably like $1.20 ship and put it in there with some bubble wrap. I think if you had like a super expensive card, you know, probably like, you know, something like two, three, four hundred dollars $400 or more. You could do both of these up. And this here will fit right into a, um, the white box will fit into one of the small flat rate boxes. And I still am able to get one thing of bubble wrap, one square around it, and shove it in there just for a little more protection. So I wanted to hit this up because um, somebody told me about these because I've been buying these. And I'm like, that's eh, the same price. These are thinner. And I think, honestly, I don't know how I want to do this shit. I'm going to see how, if you guys buy any slabs for me, I'm going to probably send them this. If you've already gotten a white box thing with them in it, let me know what you guys think is better um, between them. If you guys don't feel, com like most people don't feel comfortable with this here, this is a really good cardboard. I'm really surprised. It looked a lot thinner on their website. Look at that. I mean, it's, it's basically the same width almost as that. I mean, the only difference, if I'd rip this top white coating off, it'd be about the same. But, yeah, if you guys have ever bought before from me or got something shipped in one of these, and now it's coming in one of these, just let me know what you like better. It's all about making it safer for shipping and stuff like that there. I mean, to me, I don't really care if I'd put one of these in here and to here and spend $1.20 extra just to ship it out for something bigger to be safe. But I'm just curious on the smaller stuff like this here, what it would make a difference on or not. Because a lot of people just throw them in bubble envelopes. Some might put cardboard around them. You know, it all depends on what somebody wants to do. And I'm all about new things and trying to see how, you know, this stuff works. I'm just sitting here flipping this thing around left and right. Again, a link for this will be in the description. It will always be in future videos from here out. Same with the white box, the microscopes on there. Uh, I think Penzoni displays I put on there. I think there's like five or six different links of stuff that I use, to be honest. Because I get a lot of questions on to it. And if you guys ever need me to add something to the list just so it's there, I can. 
again, I'm not affiliated with any of these people at all out there, companies or, you know, organizations. I just find the stuff I th look at and I debate and trust me, probably about 80% of the stuff I see I don't buy. But I figure this is kind of cool, you know. Um, I think if I stick this into a bubble wrap at once, stick it into a bubble envelope, and then stick that bubble envelope in another one, it'd still be just as good as doing this in a bubble. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to play around with it. So if the gentleman who bought this Jordan Love, uh, I think it's the Pro Debut Green, I know you just bought from me recently. Probably came in one of these. If you don't mind, email me Extreme Car Breaks, which one you think was better in shipping. If anybody else, if you guys start getting them, because if I start getting people like, ah, I don't like it, like just this piece here, the way I'm going to ship it out, then I'll try to float it around to where I'll use these for bigger cars to stick in here type deal and go back to the old way. No big deal, because either box, like I said, is about the same in price. Um, whenever I do it for shipping. And I'm just more about all getting stuff out secure and neatly packaged. All right, guys. Pretty quick video today. Overtime tomorrow night. Um, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll go on for about an hour, about 10 minutes before. Joey's going to click off. He's going to get set up. He's going to go live on his channel. I'll pop a link in there. You guys can uh, float over to there. He has a huge slab sale. Oh, and if you guys have economy, and it was like off their Christmas one, it's like end of December was their enter date. Mine's an assembly already. And if you go back to one of the videos before where I showed like how to check your grades unofficially, um, my Charizard, like the full, what do they call it, Art VMAX, I think it was out of like, I can't remember what the heck I pulled it out, Shining Fates or something? That nine. So I kind of figured it might. Um, not bad though, still going for like 225 on eBay. But if you guys remember a while back, I hit that, uh, what was it? Drew Brees, 2018 optic downtown. My buddy was like, dude, I think this will 10 and sent in a 10. Now the other three cards, I have no idea because they're not in the set registry at all, but pretty cool. Pretty cool. I mean, the breeze last sold at eight, a little over 800. So, I mean, I, I'm super happy with that order coming back already just off the first two cards. Um, the other ones are like a Bellingham, uh, Topps Chrome, Bundesliga, Blue Wave, uh, Wurtz, Sapphire, and something else I sent in. I don't remember. I'll have to look later. But all right, guys. Take care. Hopefully, you guys can make overtime. Like It's not going to be late just because I got to get up early, drive to that show. It's like two hours away. And... Uh, I want to try to maybe go live for a little bit. I'm going to see how it works on to, we'll see. Um, I might not be able to read the chat, but I might be able to sit there and, uh, show a little bit of footage and stuff. Other than that, I'll get some, uh, what do they call it now? Dealer perspective, um, stuff going on. So you guys can take a look at some of that. We'll see how long I can tape for. I think it's like three or four hours. But other than that, guys. But I'll see you tomorrow night. Take care. Have a good weekend. And I will catch you guys next video.